so I had to stop for gas, got some gas. I'm like, you know what? Before I drive an hour to get to Clearwater one way, let me check the weather just to make sure nothing's changed. Oh yeah, it's changed drastically. Over in Clearwater, it is storming. I'm looking that way now. It's lightning everywhere. I mean, you look at Clearwater right now and they put those little lightning bolts to show where lightning is and like all of Clearwater and all of the area that I was going to be at, it's just slap covered in lightning bolts, which means they're not working. The cranes will be boomed down because when it storms or it's lightning, they have to boom them down so they don't have a giant lightning rod sticking in the air. Like this really sucks. This is really screwing me over majorly. I just realized the camera was still in manual from yesterday. I greatly upon greatly apologize if any of those shots were absolutely horrible. I'm sorry. So what I was saying earlier, clear water is a definite no-go. Because the weather is, I mean, it's just piss poor, it's really bad. And it's gonna be bad here soon. But there's this crane that I still haven't really got good footage of. I haven't gotten good footage of it because I haven't really had good angles. And when I tried the other day, the drone had issues. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try from a different launch point this time. I'm gonna try from a different launch point. It's kind of like the hangout spot in downtown Tampa where everybody smokes weed. At least that's what I'm guessing because it always smells like it. But I'm gonna try over there. Maybe get better signal anyway because I'm higher up. By the way, I really like these glasses. They're like knockoff Ray-Bans, obviously. Um, I got them for free at Cinco de Mayo at Moe's. Hence why it says Moe's on the side. I really want a legit pair of these, uh, of the Ray-Bans, but I think we are all well aware what would happen if I bought Ray-Bans, or if I even just wore these knockoffs all the time. Like, I won't even say it. I'm pretty sure we're all aware what would happen. Oh, this is definitely the hangout area. It, uh, it's pretty strong. My old man hooked me up with this bag yesterday. Check this out. Look at that. It's small, but has one, two, three, four, five pockets. And this cooling thing. And the strap that goes across your chest. This bag is amazing and it holds everything really well. I'm gonna try to launch the drone. Nobody should bother me. So I just noticed that security over at um, UT, I think is watching me. That's not good. Telling you what, it is so nice having this much smaller drone. It attracts practically no, it, nobody pays attention to you for the most part. And once it's at a certain altitude, like you can't hear it, you can't see it. So nobody has a clue what's going on. Only thing that would make it better in any drone is if you can land it really fast. It coming down is a lot slower than anything else. It'd be nice if it can come down faster because then that would make it even that much easier to be more stealthy. Well, I'm back at the mall. I mentioned a few vlogs ago that I need completely all new wardrobe because everything I own is probably two sizes too big, if not more. So I'm eating Deanna here and we're gonna look at shirts this time because I already got two pairs of shorts. Need shirts. And there's a woman behind me staring at me like I'm crazy. I found Midget. 
All right, food first, then shopping. Figured we eat first and we'll walk it off while we're shopping. By the way, the chick who made my bowl, she screwed me. Like she didn't give me hardly any food. Oh, we spent 30 minutes probably, probably 30 minutes or so in Hollister. Successful trip. But I do need like one more shirt. So, Tim's store. I want to show you something. I'm actually wearing it and I want to show you. This thing, it's like a jacket. It's, it's basically like a hoodie, which is one of my most favorite jackets ever, is any type of a hoodie. But it's it doesn't have long sleeves. It's a regular short sleeve hoodie. Still has the pocket and it still has the hood, like I said, it just doesn't have long sleeves and it's a little bit thinner. Um, freaking awesome. Like, that's what it looks like. Super comfy. Super comfy. But I got this thing. Deanna doesn't really like the little slits that it has, but they didn't have anything else and I really wanted this. They also have like this jean jacket, but the sleeves aren't the jean, it's a hoodie. It's like a hoodie stitched inside of a jean jacket. Like I didn't think I could pull that off, but it actually looked really nice. Like I thought so, Indiana thought so. But it was a little expensive, maybe for my birthday, which my birthday is two weeks exactly from this day, which for you guys, it's a little less, one day less, uh, but Friday. So two more Fridays, not next Friday, but the coming Friday is my birthday. But I got this shirt. Because Deanna told me I had to. And I got like this t-shirt. And it has just a little icon in it. I'm not a fan of brands that just plaster their name all across it. Like you notice, this jacket doesn't even have their logo on it at all. And, and it doesn't say anything on it. And I made that very clear when I told her I was looking for shirts. I wanted something that didn't have it just clearly written all the way across. If anything, it had like the little logo. So, little logo, that's it. Little logo, that's it. I don't really like it all plastered across it, so. Same thing with the shorts. The shorts literally don't say anything on it. It just has the little logo. Let me show you the crap I'm dealing with. What is that? And it's only getting longer. Uploading that vlog took over two hours. I don't know what's up with my internet. I have something huge coming tomorrow. So look forward to that. I mean, this is huge. It's going to be a game changer. See you guys tomorrow.